It seems these days there's copper in everything. There's copper coated pans. There's copper covered coffee cups. There's copper currency. There's copper for our tones. They make copper scrubbers for the kitchen. They even make copper infused compression sleeves. Hmm. This is The Ripoff Detective, where skepticism and research are here to help determine if the things you see are worth your money. Copper has played an odd role throughout history. It was the first metal to be worked by people. It's in all sorts of things, from electronics to coins to guns and even our bodies. Copper is one of the essential trace elements that plays a crucial role in our health. We need roughly 1.2 milligrams of copper for our cellular enzymes to transfer energy. But, does the Copperfit brand really bring anything worthwhile to the table? Let's look at the science. Copperfit markets their products in a surprisingly less shady way than most. For years, I've seen many wearable copper products like bracelets get marketed with mystical thinking. Claims that copper would transfer positive ions, kill arthritis pain, or just give a sense of overall wellness. All things that were either complete lies or things that were confirmation bias, tricking us into thinking the placebo effect was actual treatment. For those who don't know, confirmation bias is selective thinking people use to reinforce beliefs they have about certain things. In this case, someone buying a copper bracelet possibly already believes that it works. So when they feel good while wearing it, they use that feeling as justification for their pre-existing belief, despite there being other reasons for them feeling better or evidence suggesting that the bracelet doesn't work at all. That aside, Copperfit doesn't commit that blatant lie. It's marketed as a compression sleeve or brace that is specifically designed to put pain relieving pressure on specific problem body parts. While not a new concept to the sport gear market, compression garments are of dubious actual use. Few studies actually suggest any meaningful increase in physical performance, with some studies stating that compression gear only aids in physical recovery after physical activity. That alone doesn't speak too much credit to copper fit, at least on the fitness aspect. In terms of copper, the brand seems to fail to deliver on this as well. The copper infusion is said to act as an anti-odor technology. Copper, like silver and mercury, has a natural antimicrobial effect. Known as the ogliodynamic effect, some metal ions are toxic to a variety of microbes. A 2011 study had surfaces replaced with copper in select hospitals, which displayed a significant reduction in contamination of frequently touched surfaces like toilet seats, sink knobs, and doorknobs. So, on paper, copper is very capable of killing microbes in some instances. For copper fit, this doesn't mean much though. This study was done with objects with high copper content. Copper fit only has their products listed as infused with copper, which doesn't actually suggest there's much copper to begin with. Copper fit also has a variety of garments from elbow to lower back braces to wraps that only cover the sole of your foot. These are drastically varied places that wouldn't at all share the same bacteria concentration or sweat production. This information, combined with an utter lack of studies done on Copperfit's specific concentration of copper used to infuse their products, don't do anything but leave one skeptical of how much copper is actually required to kill odor when worn. Compression sleeves and socks are in a gray area of actual medically tested effectiveness. They're form-fitting, comfortable, and tight, which for many gives an appearance of preparedness and physical confidence. In some ways, the compression garment market is just another angle of the fashion market, just geared towards athletes and sports enthusiasts. With that in mind, one can look at anecdotal accounts from the form of reviews. Go on Amazon.com and search any copper fit product. Almost all of the garments rest at about four stars. The reviews all say the same things. If they disliked them, it was because they were the wrong size or the material was uncomfortable. But if they liked it, it was because they were breathable yet tight, which was comfortable and perhaps even removed some pain. Citation needed. As far as Ripoff Detective is concerned, Copperfit is an overhyped gimmick product that performs no more effectively than any other compression garment. Should you buy it? Frankly, sure. Not if you want magic arthritis removing socks. 
that's just a fiction. But if you're already in the compression garment market, if you play football with friends on the weekend or want something to give a comfortable squeeze during a jog, then it's worth a try. Buy them to try them out because some of them are only $9.99. That's a way better price than many of the braces and socks you can find in some places. If it works for you, then great, because that means you didn't have to spend $15 on something similar at Dick's Sporting Goods. If it doesn't work out, then maybe it could just be that compression clothes are just full of woo. Thank you.